What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to macro with Nacho Macro in B-Swarm Simulator, so let's get right into it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to join the Nacho Macro Discord server. I'll leave the link in the description on how to join this. It'll just be like clicking the link and you'll join the server. And then you got to verify and everything. I already have the file, so I'm not going to bother with it. But eventually, um, there'll be a tab here. It just says like download Nacho or Macro or Nacho Macro or something. And you click on the link and you download the Nacho Macro. And then it will download a zip file to your computer. So I'll show you what to do from there. So you're going to want to click on the file here, Nacho Macro. You're going to have to right click on it and then click Extract All. So I'm not going to do this because I already have it downloaded. But basically it will just extract the... Um, the folder and then all you got to do is click on it after it's extracted and then you can go to um, version 0.98 or version 0.97 I currently have version 0.97 open so um, we'll be using that this so then you just double so then you just double click on the um, macro macro and double click on start and it will go and start up a macro for you there's going to be a, um, a bunch of different settings that you're going to have to go through. Um, I'm going to go through some simple settings with you guys right now. So, because I'm a blue hive right now, the best field is um, pine tree. So you're going to want to set the, the field to pine tree, which is right here. And then you're going to want to change from this. I usually do super cat. But um, you can also do elol, that's a good one. Um, gather with shift lock needs to be on. So basically with, without shift lock, you'll be looking this way. This is very important if you have the tide popper. So then your waves would be going down the entire field when you macro. Um, but that's only with elol. Um, if you use super cat, you can, um, it kind of puts you in the corner of the field and then all your balloons gather up and then you can um, collect more with your balloons instead of like farming in the field which is how you get most of your honey as a blue hive so I recommend doing super cat I change the width down to 1 gather with shift lock on I usually do 10, 10 to 20 minutes is fine um, I set it to 10 usually packed is to 99 95 percent um to hive by right here i'd usually go to reset but if if you want to keep your pollen in your backpack you can click walk but it just takes a lot longer to walk back to the hive so i'd suggest using reset and basically you can fit around with the um the settings here but this is just my settings what i use you can um, use whatever you want it's up to you then collect you can obviously you can do um bug runs here so you can kill ladybugs and click them on loot and stuff um i'm not i'm um, bug running right now but if you do you want to select all there you can do that you can select all these just basically what whatever mobs you want it to kill um so you can also kill bosses you can kill the king beetle the tunnel bear um here's like this just means to collect baby love before you kill it so um you can also do stump snail here commando chick but keep the old amulets but here's here's what i find because i want to change to a red hive but i just don't have enough stingers for that so i have kill vicious b on which means every night it will go every nighttime cycle it will go to these fields and just check for stingers in the fields and then it will give you the stingers. Um, you can collect here. You can collect um, clock, which um, gives you a bunch of tickets, which I'd recommend. None of these are really that important. I'd see, I'd like, you don't really need any of those, but um, it's up to you. Obviously, you can like decide what, what you want to do with it. And then um, Beesmas, which is, um, not Beesmas right now, but Beesmas is coming up really soon. So um, you can click on 
like well, you want to do the stockings but we won't let you do that right now because it's not beesmas but um i'd recommend doing like candles stockings honey wreath lid art gummy beacon like samovar um once again that's up to you a boost so if, if you want to activate the free field boost then you can you know red then blue then red then um mountain um i am blue so you can go then gather and boosted field but there's um if you're going to be macroing pine tree there's no point macroing in um in like blue flower if you get blue flower so i just recommend setting that to whatever hive color you are there's not much point but if you want you can hit the red mountain booster if you want but it's up to you um and then make sure you don't have gather and boosted fields selected and then hotbar slots um you can select when you want to use um the the thing which i would recommend never because it just drains your materials a lot but say you want to do that you can put an a, a blue extract into your number two slot and then you can decide whenever you want to do it so gathering every 15 minutes but i would not recommend doing this so just select those all off unless you have a lot of materials and you want to macro with the materials quests um you can click on uh enable um polar bear quest and then um it's up to you but i i sometimes check the brown polar bear quest but there's not much need to select a polar bear quest obviously if you select black bear you have to have his mythic egg quest done um for it to work otherwise you'll be getting not the auto generated quest that from black bear um can do honeybee on i say that for boosting um riley bee obviously if you're a red high this can help uh, especially if you're trying to get the um end game dippers for any of your hive colors these are um, very helpful next up planters you just select this to plus and now you click every single planter you have here so if i had um maybe if i had that i'd so if i had petal planter or hydroponic planter or heat treated planter i'd click it but we don't have any of those um paper and ticket because um you well i mean they're um not infinite and i would not recommend using these and then you can harvest them every two hours for nectar or you can change that i'd recommend putting it on two and then you can um do your prioritize like the nectars so comforting would be motivating and satisfying because i'm a blue hive that's the best order to have them at obviously comforting being the most important motivating being the second important satisfying being the third important and then these two don't really matter you can set them down like the minimum percent you want them at you can set these up depends how high you want the percent um i don't usually use the planters i i use it myself because i'm not macroing all the time but if you're macroing you know like you don't want to turn your macro off or anything you're not macroing for like more than two days straight um it's not really important but if you are you can set these to how you'd like it for your certain hive color there's presets up here so for your blue hive and like red far red hive and over here allowed fields so you can put it in um which field you want determine like based on your nectar so if i was it has custom preset here which mm -hmm. these are basically all the fields that you want like dandelion those those are the fields that i'd recommend if you're a blue hive so just dandelion sunflower mushroom spider pineapple stump pine tree and rose status this is just like the log from your last macro um settings now um 
Uh, this just changes the display of the macro. So, like if you want it displayed like that, I'd just keep it at normal. The Mac Lion 3, it's not very important. Then this one's, this one sets how transparent it is, like if you want it to blend in. Not really important, you can select always on top. This is the important part. So if you come over here to your hive slots here, as you can see right now, I'm in hive slot number one. One, that being one, two, three, four, five, six. So then you put in which hive slot you're in. So that's very important, make sure you do that. My hive has 50 bees, I mean, that's, but you can set it to how many bees your hive has. Wait, you can wait, you know, that's up to you. And then for your um, reset, or like reconnection if you happen to lose connection um you can put in your private server link here um you can join that's the join that's not really important and then reconnect every single hour starting at that time it's not important this natural so this like natural so broke thing with the with a very weird emoji um this basically means like when you join the server, you start spamming Nacho so broken chat. It's weird, so don't select that. And then fall back to public server, that's just what I have clicked, so you don't have to put in the link all the time. And then you gotta do this. Um so for your character, movement um speed has to be in your settings. Make sure you don't have any haste or like bear buff. But you go into settings, you scroll down to character stats and you find your move speed which is currently 33.6 um mine is normally 33.1 no 31 with hay without haste so that's how you determine that um movement method you can walk but if you have the cannon unlocked click cannon uh, you can do sprinkler type here so if you have diamond sprinklers of that most of you would have supreme by this level convert balloon i just have it to always but you can convert your balloon at a certain time and then multiple reset so it basically means you um reset twice which is not very important and then that's just the misc so uh, if you want to hatch a gifted haste to be you can just auto hatch it just um put on the macro there um there's auto bitter berry feeders to get a um, mutation, auto mutator coming soon. Um, just Google Sheets, calculators, auto clicker there. Um, you can change your hotkeys, it's up to you. F1, F2, and F3 is perfectly fine. Um, and there, that's basically it. So. These are the different um, developers that develop this macro, testers, and yeah, that's that's basically it. So um, it's not that hard. Um, obviously, you can kind of just decide what you want to check and uncheck in the macro. But yeah, that's basically it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching.